On behalf of the mayor and myself, I'd like to thank each and every one of you for coming here to this uh, house of worship to try and settle matters regarding this serious and tragic situation. Now, I will be leaving you in the privacy of the good Reverend Dorsey, who will mediate all sides. And if I can be any, of any help, I'll be right outside. Thank you, Mr. Casey. You're welcome. You know, I've known the Brooklyns for as long as I've been here. I've known Lorraine Thompson here since she was, what, this high? Spy, Damien, see, I know your folks. And the rest of you, I know your cousins, your aunts, your brothers and sisters. So I'm standing in the middle here. I am the mediator, so let's talk. Let's see if we can't stop this thing. If the old man keeps his mouth shut, we'll call it done. Short, sweet, simple. Done is done, fact is fact, and God's truth is the truth. That's why we're here, Reverend. I want to know the truth. Who shot my father? Thought we'd being serious, Reverend. I don't want no jokes. Now, the damage was done on both sides. Marvin Bookman did the wrong thing, but the retaliation was the wrong thing, too. Just a minute. My husband didn't do anything wrong. These animals killed her son in front of our store. Hold up. You don't know nothing about that shit, bitch. That's pretty tough talk coming from a faggot like you who don't even know what sex his mother is. Gentlemen, please. Now, Reverend, this wasn't ideal. But I'm gonna throw this in the pot, and that's gonna be it. Our boy, he missed his shot, and we don't miss many. Now, if that old man can keep his fucking mouth shut, then maybe, just maybe, you'll be able to survive on our streets. Burn in hell! Who do you think you are? You are nothing more than the dog shit we watch up from our sidewalks in the morning. Gracie, please. Oh, quit this, Reverend. What kind of a deal is this? We spend our lifetime working and striving for goodness, and you sell us out to him? And here's our deal. <laughs> I want everyone involved to turn themselves into the police. And I want the boy who shot my husband to confess. And maybe, just maybe, we'll let you survive. I'm out of here. You can't just walk out. What the hell happened here? I think World War III was declared. <laughs>